Okay, this is not chapter two. This is, I have to count. After getting my PhD and doing some postdoc work and having a faculty position at Northwestern for a while, I left that to operate my dad's lingerie store. I sold bras and girls for a few years and had the opportunity, great chance to walk in his shoes when I, after he died. Um, that's why I took it on. Um, when I did that and left genetics, I learned how to tune a piano and restore uh, old instruments. Really wanted to be in music, but I talked myself out of it. So I always would gravitated and hung around things musical. And then traded at the Chicago Board of Options Exchange. In parallels, at that time, I decided I'd better get back into genetics or I never would. And that's how I found my way to DePaul and I started teaching and ended up there for 25 years or so, never intending to do that. Mm. Occasionally talking to people about going into business. I almost got in the tie business for a while. Not too much, I'm not willing to try. Mm. Um, because I believe I can probably do okay with it. It's just a question of what are my choices and, and what that has also had along with it, I think probably is the absence of a singular passion. I, you know, one of the bumper stickers I carry around in my head is, balance is what I seek when I don't have a passion. I'm never seeking balance. I'm always looking for that, that passion wherever, you know, wherever I might find it, even if it's short lived. I wasn't counting what I just said, but this isn't the second go round. This is yet another one. <laughs> uh, and it will last as long as I can sustain an interest, I guess, or the business is good. Um, and from there, probably, well, won't even say probably. I'll find my way back to music somehow.